All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about six knives that are for bushcrafting. And if you haven't already checked these knives out, definitely this year do it. If you're a knife person, if you like knives, and if you are wanting to, you know, check out some new blades, these are some pretty cool ones that I would recommend. Not all are the most attainable, but definitely all are worth it. Okay, so first off, let's go over the smallest one. And this is the Bark River Knives Rising Wolf. Now, mine in particular is the prototype version. This is a production knife that they do make, but this is just the prototype so it's a little bit different um, i believe this one uses smaller pins than the normal one but this is a rising wolf i think what i enjoy most about this especially if you're looking for something neck knife sized and styled is the fact that you still have that pretty full grip like lengthwise it's a pretty thick handle too and then you are dealing with a nice compact blade so if you're looking for something like a companion knife if you're looking for a neck knife the rising wolf is really cool in those regards and just has a nice overall blade shape of course you're dealing with a full convex grind so it's essentially like a full flat grind but of course convex so it's a little bit better for those people who like convex grinds all right next one up and kind of the next two they're pretty similar but we'll first talk about the mora robust now the robust is one that's been around for a long time as well it's one that you probably have already checked out but if you haven't i think the more robust is really worth checking out because it is a venerable option and i think this is one that is a real, makes for a really good um, educational knife if you're trying to bring people into the whole world of bushcrafting and outdoors this is a really solid option for that in most regards so it's a really great option for teaching knife it's overall thick about one eighth of an inch thick and it is um, 1095 high carbon so you're gonna get decent performance decent robustness and rigidity. So overall, great knife, hard to go wrong with. Hard to go wrong with the next one as well. This is the Mora 511. Now it's a smaller blade, thinner blade. So this one's a little bit uh, more of a light use, if you will. I still think this one can take a beating as well, but this is additionally 1095, but the 511 is just a little bit smaller, a bit lighter. Like when you pick it up, it's noticeably lighter, but I will say the thing I do like about the robust over the 511 is you get rubberized hands handle or you get a rubberized handle as opposed to the just plasticized handle of the 511 so in my opinion i like the the 511 or sorry the um robust a little bit more than the 511. Now stepping it up in price point we have the uh, Scrapyard Knife Company which is a subsidiary of Bussy Knives. This is the WS1021. They make this WS model um, in multiple different blade shapes. The 21 is the trailing point like you see here but I think that these guys are really cool. Once again a fully rubberized handle so you get tons of grip. A very large very generous handle to mate to that long-ish blade. I think this is about four and a quarter, uh, maybe it's closer just to four, but overall really cool blade. And uh, I think this is one that I think just not a lot of people think about, but these for a bussy are really cheap and they come in about $150. So cannot complain at all about that. So yeah, you're dealing with a high flat grind on this one and the steel is SR101, which is essentially um, Bussy's special variation on 52100 ball bearing steel. So getting decent performance out of it. It's not gonna be mind blowing or game changing, but it's going to be a decent performer for sure. All right, next one up is the Tops Bracamo. This is one that I recently got in, and this is one that has been requested very heavily on the channel, but I am definitely looking forward to getting some actual field time with this. The Bracamo is one, like I said, so many people have asked what I think of them and overall, like what my use experience has been. And well, I've never used one, so I don't quite know. So that is going to be pretty much the whole um, thing this summer. It's gonna be really putting some use on the Bracamo and delivering some thoughts. For me, for a long time, I kind of steered away from the Bracamo because it's shorter handle versus its blade, but it is a decent knife. And I do appreciate that it's an uncoated 1095 differentially heat treated blade. So it should be a pretty decent performer um, from what I'm expecting. So definitely excited to get some uh, serious use on these guys, but the Bracamo is pretty cool. And overall so far from what I can say, I, you can't go wrong with one and you can't really go wrong with most bushcrafting oriented tops knives. Like most of their, um, genuine lineup of you know bushcrafting blades are pretty darn solid. All right, last one up and one that I'm absolutely in love with is the Cold Steel Master Hunter. And this one has a whole bunch of random stuff on the blade, but um, 
Overall, the Master Hunter is really cool. I think it delivers a tremendous value, especially the um, VG1 or kind of Sanmai version of it and the uh, CPM3V version like you guys see here. This delivers a lot of value for what you're getting in materials components. And overall, I love the fully rubberized handle. You guys can kind of notice a trend here. Things like the WS1021, things like the robust, you know, fully rubberized handles. And I think that that just leads to a lot of comfort and a lot of um, overall like cold weather and temperature like neutrality within the handle these are going to be far more comfortable in cold climates so i love that i love the full flat grind on this cpm 3v because you get an incredibly slicey edge and that is very very handy so really do love the master hunter and once again for the price that they go which is you know around you know 89 dollars is what i paid for mine but you know the low like close to 100 under 100 dollar it is just an incredible value so really do love it and and once again, these are six knives that are super hard to go wrong with. So definitely check them all out. And uh, yeah, there's not much more I can say, guys. They're awesome.